Hi and good afternoon everyone. Rick Neb, director from the National Hurricane Center. It's day number four of the Gulf Coast Hurricane Awareness Tour. We are here in Mobile, Alabama. I'm joined by Jeff Medlin, meteorologist in charge for the Mobile, Pensacola forecast office. Jeff, congratulations to your staff. Months of work. What a successful day. Yes, hats off to them. I mean, they really put it all together here and knocked it out of the park, I feel like. So, a lot of people, great outreach event, great awareness and uh, exactly what we wanted to accomplish. We can just tell by the turnout. Do you have any idea how many school kids came by this morning? I uh, believe uh, there were 800 and I believe uh, no one canceled. So I believe we realized all of that. That was fantastic. Yes. You know, I, I'm often yeah. asked with all of the Hurricane Hunter planes and the emergency managers and media partners here, I'm often asked who's your most important partner and I say it's the children. Because they're going to go home tonight, talk with their families about what they need to do to get ready right. for the next hurricane. And that's absolutely correct. I mean, any way to encourage young minds, and that's right, they actually hold the parents accountable. They hold them to that next level. Yeah, they go that's home right. and they say, Mom, Dad, that's do we have it. enough insurance? Do we have flood insurance? Don't we need to go shopping for hurricane supplies? You know, and the parents, yeah, I guess we do, and hopefully they go do it. Very good point, Rick. Now, we also had a fantastic meeting after lunch today with local emergency managers yes. from the surrounding area. Tell us about your relationship with the emergency managers and how that keeps people safe. Yeah, we're uh, so proud of our relationship with the emergency managers. Yeah, they, uh, they, uh, you know, they depend on our local office to break down the impacts in space and time when something starts happening. And we are constantly in contact with them, you know, daily, uh, even during benign situations, always in the outlook phase uh, for any type of situation coming up. Uh, we have that relationship established with them. They come to us, and it's just been great, and it's mutually beneficial. We derive uh, good information from them, from them as well. Yeah, I had a yeah. great time talking with the folks. We even had FEMA Region 4. Uh, Grace and Check uh, from the regional yes. uh, office here in FEMA in Atlanta uh, that covers this area. You had some state folks there that I talked to afterward, yes. tribal uh, folks. And just emergency managers at all these levels are some of our closest partners. Now, talking about some real brave men and women that fly in these aircraft, the Absolutely. WC-130, just down the road from you, uh, Keystone Air Force Base over in Mississippi. That's right, and we've uh, actually had over the past 20 years two of our own forecasters belong to that. So that's brought a unique experience, and we really have a soft spot in our heart for what they do from just seeing one of our own be involved with that. That's fantastic. Now, I've been trying to explain to everybody I talk to on this tour that there's a direct connection between the data that are collected on these planes and the personal safety of your family. Now, we are a big part of the chain between those two ends because we take the data from the aircraft, helps us make the most accurate forecast possible. And then we're coordinating with you on the forecast and we'll watch just warnings. How do you turn that into a local forecast and warning for this area? Anytime we can get a piece of ground truth information, uh, it essentially uh, basically substantiates what we've told people in any type of certain situation. You know, the confirmation or the denial of what's going on is vital uh, to raising the stakes and public awareness, especially in an ongoing weather situation. It's just, it's just incredibly vital. It and it's good to meet some of your forecasters in person because yes. your forecasters talking to my forecasters in real time. Correct. And we have something called the Hurricane Hotline. That's exactly it really is, right. That's what it's called. And we get on the phone with forecast offices in the areas, especially that are threatened by a particular tropical cyclone. And then your forecasters and ours spend the next several minutes putting together the advisories, the forecasts, and then at the same time, everything goes out with a consistent message. And that's a very good process, and I believe the collaboration is tighter than it's ever been. Uh, it's something that we really take stock in and hold as a as a, really a core value, uh, because you know when you put many minds together and you have that diversity in the in, in the forecast process, especially between a national view and a very local view, you just end up with the best of the best. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about. Um how this area in Mobile, Pensacola has changed since the last decade when you had uh, Ivan, for example. Yes. Uh, more people living in this area, population Yes, increase? they have really moved in by the tens of thousands and most of them are moving into the coastal zone where they're vulnerable. Uh, also, for those that you know were born 10 years ago, you've had just about a half a generation go by wow. for 10 year olds that have never really seen real tropical cyclone impacts. And that is critical. Uh, to reach out and educate in a manner like what we're doing today. 
now. So all the more reason that we're reaching out to the kids today. And what I keep telling folks, especially if they're new to the area and they're wondering, you know, they're so overwhelmed by all this hurricane preparedness information, what do I do, what, where do I start? I tell people to start with the evacuation question. Find out today if you live in a hurricane evacuation zone, and then if you do, decide today where you go and how you get there if one of your emergency managers in this area tells you to go. I couldn't agree more. Uh, that's totally correct, and in addition, having their own personal plan and knowing how to execute it at the drop of a hat. Because really, when it when it starts happening, that's when you need to be on the top of your game. Now, one of the one of the downsides of doing the hurricane awareness tour is you have to land at an airport, and airports have noisy helicopters and airplanes. Another one's about to take off, so we're going to sign off for now. Thanks again for joining us on this live Periscope broadcast. Keep following us, NWSNHC. Hashtag Hurricane Strong. We'll see you in Naples, Florida tomorrow.